Hi, this is David Papkin. Welcome back to Core Solutions of Skype for Business 2015, Deploying SFB External Access. So in this video, it means installing the components for external users. Installing and configuring reverse proxy. So first, I'll configure the web application proxy, import the certificate from London Edge, and then create publishing roles for SFB and OWA server. First thing I'm going to do is, in the perimeter network, I'm going to set up the gateway in here. And I'm going to start the configuration the proxy wizard on here. Okay. Username, Adam, Administrator. Ooh. So, Federation Service Name, User, Administrator, Password. Now, the certificate on this right here. Let's see if we have something to drop down. Fantastic, we have here. User certificate. Right. And I'm going to configure. When it's complete, I'm going to close. So the web application proxy was configured successfully. Now, if you get any errors about saying it couldn't configure it, it couldn't, um, it couldn't establish the trust relationship to ADFS1 at adatum.com, then a couple things I suggest you do is that you do is you verify make sure that you verify the perimeter is enabled and the gateway is set for the perimeter on this one and if that was all correct and notice it did come up with the name of the domain in there try rebooting the proxy server and then rerunning the configuration wizard I had that issue and then after I did that it was just fine now the Next task I'm going to do, I'm going to import the certificate from London Edge 1. What I'm going to do is this. I'm going to add certificates for certificate snap-in on the computer account. Next. Finish. So I'm going to take in this one right here, local computer personal certificates, and this will list the installed certificates right here. Now I'm going to take this one right here, and I'm going to export it. I want to export the private key. Now, but remember about exporting the private key. You must be very careful in general exporting private keys, and please be careful what you do with them, because it is the private key. Private key should be kept private. And if it gets exposed, then you're going to have to revoke it and get a new key pair. And this right here. Next. Just going to leave this all as the default. And I'm going to give this one a password for safety right here. Now, for my demo, of course, I'm going to use the password password right here. And the file name, I'm going to call this one Edge Export. Of course, you don't have to call it that. So you're going to write the next, finish. And OK. Then I'm going to do is this. I'm going to switch back to London Proxy right here. And I'm going to go to File Explorer.
Then I'm going to go right there, edge export right there, fantastic. Okay, and I'm going to go to the local machine. Next. I'm going to export good. I have to enter the password. Hopefully you remember it. This password. I'm going to mark this key as exportable. Click next. And I'm going to click next. And finish. Great. Fantastic. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create publishing rules for SFB and OWA servers. I'm going to go to Remote Access Console, Remote Access Management Console is under Tasks. I'm going to go Publish, Welcome. Oh, it's nice of us to welcome. That's nice. Next, Pass Through. And the external URL right here. Channel certificate name. Let's see if it goes up on there. There she is. Sipidatum.com in the back end server. And then the back end server URL. However, I do need to have the port. So all the same. Look great. I'm going to ignore these ones that they don't match, just as saying is this is, this is showing the port I'm using, obviously, to access it right here. And I'm going to publish. And then I'm going to close. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to do it with some more names on right here. I have to do it several more times. I gotta say like meet meet.adatum.com and the external URL but meet.adatum there Nine four 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 three. I mean, I'm so used to using nine four four three. Well, that's for another course, actually. Meet.adatum.com. The name right there is meet. Let's go meet right here. Meetatadatum.com sip. Good. And I'm going to do this for a couple bit more. Same thing. And one more time, cool. Cool. 
pull that I did him that count. Set pull that I did with a couple of blah blah blah. So as you can see is I have done this on this one right here. I created publishing rules for link discover, dial in, meet, and pool. All these ones different here. Now I'm gonna do is I need to do one more on here. I'm gonna do this one for publishing for the OWA. But I don't need to do is on this one redirect to port 4443 because OWA does not require port redirect. Publish, publishadatum.com. Now, of course, I've already enabled this one. Make sure that it's enabled, yeah? All right, great. So great, I've done this in this. I've created publishing rules. So I've all installed and configured the reverse proxy. The next thing I need to do, I need to validate external messaging. So the main task, add public DNS, the London CL2 by using the host file, and then move it to the outside and, and validate the connection. So what I'm going to do is here. So what I'm going to do is on this. I'm going to go to the host file. And hopefully I'm going to open it with Notepad. Run it as administrator. And I'm going to do is in this. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move it to the outside and validate the connection. And I'm going to take in this one. I just need to validate it. 131.107.0.51. The gateway is 0100. DNS is blank. What I'm going to do is this. London network. I'm going to disable. Mm -hmm. 
Fantastic. Now the next thing I need to do is I need to restart it. So I'm re-logging back in and I'm going to make sure that uh, Skype for Business is to work. So the last one right here is whack and this one right here. Notice we don't need the port redirection. This one right here. OWA does not require port redirection. 